Well, hey guys. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite tinted sunscreens including some that are good for darker skin types. And by darker skin types, I mean Fitzpatrick phototype four, five, or six. I have a few that I think would work well for you guys. And I'll point those out. Um, and I'll put a little schematic here so you guys know what I'm talking about if you're not familiar with the Fitzpatrick phototype. Basically, it just refers to essentially how your skin reacts to ultraviolet radiation. But all right, one that I think is really good for Fitzpatrick phototype four, but it's definitely one that I think is worth a try. Here's the tint, you can see. This is by Avan. It's their uh, very high protection SPF 50. But the reason this, as well as any of these tinted mineral sunscreens are great choices, for people with darker skin types is that they actually are the best in terms of the ingredients for what your skin needs for protection from ultraviolet light from the sun as well as visible light if you have a darker skin type that doesn't burn the rays of sun that burn the skin that's reflected by the spf but there are other factors that are important in sunscreen that you really never have a sense of um, things like UVA protection and visible light protection. And those things actually affect darker skin types more so because uh, darker skin types tend to be susceptible to hyperpigmentation, which is driven by UVA and by visible light that largely comes from the sun, but also comes uh, from, from LED devices and whatnot to a small extent. And over time that that can generate a lot of free radical damage in your skin that can aid your skin and, and set you up for skin problems. Also, people with darker skin types, while they may not burn, they actually can have a lot of skin diseases that are photosensitive. Lupus is a classic example, and uh, another condition called dermatomyositis. This is a great one by Event if you have a darker Fitzpatrick phototype four. It has kind of a buttery, rich consistency, but it dries um, very smooth on the skin. It's not clumpy, it doesn't pill, it doesn't ball. I don't wear makeup, so I don't know how well this interacts with different types of makeup, but it actually gives pretty nice coverage because the iron oxide concentration in this, I know for a fact, is actually pretty high. And the iron oxides are the ingredients in these sunscreens that add protection against visible light. It's what gives the tint and also gives the protection against visible light. And so because of that, it's very, it's very good for covering up some little inconsistencies and smoothing out your overall complexion. So it's almost like a nice, I won't say makeup or foundation, but it really can give you some nice improvement in the appearance of your overall complexion while protecting your skin. So I really like this one. It is more on the expensive side, however. But another one that I always recommend for Fitzpatrick Phototype 4, 5, and also 6 is by Coat. So I have a sample here. I have a sample here of their uh, Prime and Protect Tinted SPF 40. This one is more a little bit more matte than the Aven one, but also has that same kind of buttery consistency. It's a touch drying. This does go over, I've been told, very well with people who wear makeup. It's very good for oily skin and sensitive skin. All of these sunscreens, by the way, are good for sensitive skin because they're all free of added fragrance and they're all mineral sunscreens with the exception of two, and I'll point those out, but um, or actually, yeah. The other one that's gonna be good for Fitzpatrick Phototype 4 and 5 and 6 is by the brand Clear, C-L-E-U-R-E. -E. Their SPF 40 tinted sunscreen is really good. It has a similar consistency to Coats. It's a little bit darker though than the Coats one. And it blends really smooth on the surface of the skin. It's also a little bit darker, the tint, than the Aven one. Um, so if you're more for Fitzpatrick 6, the clear one might be a better choice for you. I want some feedback though from you guys because these are sunscreens that I recommend to people with those skin types and I don't get complaints, but you know, 
I, I appreciate your feedback. So let me know. I want to hear from you if these actually, if you've tried any of these and if they work. All right. Personally, I love the CeraVe hydrating sunscreen sheer tint. This one, I love the way it looks. It's great for oily skin because it's not greasy, but it's also very moisturizing. However, the tint is too dark for me. This one is really good if you have Fitzpatrick Phototype 4. Um, if you're darker than for Phototype 4, you may find that this is just like not right for you because it's a little tan. And so you may find like people with more olive toned skin get along better with this, I think, um, in my experience recommending it. But it's really good if you have acne and or sensitive skin. If your skin is dry though, this is also a good choice. Like it's not, it's not super mad. I don't know how well this goes with makeup. I've gotten different feedback from people. Some people say it balls and pills with their makeup. Other people say it's great. I've never had it ball or pill when I use it. I love it. I just look a little orange when I use it. For those of you in the UK who have a darker skin type or you're suffering from melasma, I definitely recommend the Altruist um, anti-redness and pigmentation. It's too dark for me. It comes out green as I've reviewed, I've reviewed it for you guys before, but it comes out green so it will color correct redness, but this will help camouflage that. As you rub it into the skin, it kind of turns into this coppery color and then kind of calms down to, to a, a brown. And it's great because the iron oxides will protect you from those pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light that can cause issues for people with melasma and hyperpigmentation. It is a chemical sunscreen. However, some people are really sensitive to chemical sunscreens. They burn and sting. But this one has a lot more filters than what is allowed here in the United States. And that makes it um, easier on people's skin. It's less irritating, the formulation. The problem with our chemical sunscreens here in the States is that we only have so many filters that we can use and it ends up that our sunscreens can be kind of irritating. But that one's really great for, as far as a chemical sunscreen, it's, it's perfect for people with sensitive skin actually. It's not, it's not problematic. It's actually also very good for people with acne. The tint on that though is not good if you're paler which a lot of people who are dealing with redness have pale skin, more pale skin. If you, you have rosacea, it tends to affect people with more pale skin. I don't think that you're gonna like particularly care for that tint. Instead, for those of you in the UK uh, and throughout Europe, I have to recommend the Bioderma Photoderm AR. This also like the, like the Altruist tinted sunscreen is a chemical sunscreen, but the tint is much lighter. It's much better for for pale skin, um, and so it's a good choice. But if you have, have Fitzpatrick Phototype four, five, or six, this is probably not gonna work particularly well for you. It's, it's Even though it's a chemical sunscreen and chemical sunscreens don't leave cast, I think the tint on this is just gonna look odd. Now, I have a video on my favorite BB creams and CC creams. I'll list it down below for you guys. And you, you may be wondering, are those a good choice for tinted sunscreens? They can be. The problem with a lot of BB creams and CC creams is that they may be titanium dioxide only, and that's fine, but it short changes you a little bit of your UVA protection. Instead, zinc is a better choice. However, I found personally that the Derma E tinted BB creams, SPF 30, these are really good. They are a little shiny, but I happen to have the one in the uh, light shade. I think they have a fair, which would be better for pale, uh, more pale skin tone. This is the one that works pretty well for me. Um, but they have, uh, I think five shades overall. So check out, check out Derma E's BB cream. This one, it's vegan, cruelty free. It's great if you have oily skin. Um, it's not greasy. It doesn't pill or ball. And uh, it's just zinc oxide. So it's very good if you have very sensitive skin. Uh, it's more on the expensive side to be putting this all over your face all the time and using it as your only sunscreen, but actually, I mean, it's about the same size, actually a little bigger than the Bioderma one. So, you know, that's kind of similar packaging. I think they have five shades overall, so there's a good chance that you'll find one that matches you, your tone there. And they're very nice. They work pretty well. 
Okay, and then another brand that is worth mentioning, if you have, I would say, phototype three, four, five, probably not doing them. For Fitzpatrick phototype two and three, I'm gonna recommend, you guys know I love, I, I consider myself Fitzpatrick phototype three. I like to use the Color Science Unforgettable Face Shield. I love the way that this looks. It has more of a peachy hue to it. It's really good for masking any kind of bluish discoloration, like from veins and stuff. Um, and it works really well for me, for my skin tone. But another one that I uh, have kind of used before, but not really exactly, but more or less. I'm recommending to you guys is Neostrata Sheer Physical Protection. This is a um, this is exactly the same as the Exuviance Sheer Daily Protector, which they have now rebranded as a BB cream, but it's the same product, and it's the same product as this. This is a tinted mineral sunscreen. It's very good for more Fitzpatrick Phototype One and Two, um, but it's super lightweight um, and it has EGCG in an antioxidant found in green tea that has been shown to reduce the burden of sun damage and burden of what are called sunburn cells. However, I wouldn't fall for that because antioxidants and sunscreens, they don't really get into the skin very well because of the film forming agents. So, you know, it's a bit more of a marketing thing. But that being said, this looks really nice on the skin. I've always thought that Elta MD UV Physical was perfect for Phototype 3. I have Phototype 3 and it works really well for me, but it's a lot thicker. It's not a liquid vehicle like the Exuviance one that I just showed you or the Color Science one. It's more of a thick cream. So this is a lot more moisturizing than, than those. And this is nice because it is water resistant. So this is really good for when you're outside and sweating a lot in a summertime. It just gives you a little bit more insurance in between reapplications of your sunscreen that it's still that most of it's still in place so i really like it and this is excellent if you've had any kind of procedure um because uh your skin like when your skin's really sensitive after a procedure this whole brand is really good in that situation and then last but not least is one that's actually new to me but it's pretty similar honestly in consistency and appearance to the um, Exuviance one, but it's actually, or I keep calling it Exuviance, the Neostrata one. It's good for people with, I would try it if you have Phototype 1, because uh, it's a little pale for me, um, but it's good for Phototype 2 and 3 to a certain extent. It is just a little pale. Um, and that is the HelioCare Mineral Tolerance Fluid. HelioCare is a company that makes a dietary supplement called Polypodium Leucomotus that actually has been shown to, um, when taken orally, to uh, help reduce the burden of sun damage from, from sun exposure. I have a video explaining it, so check that out. But the company that makes that has made sunscreens and they put the Polypodium Leucomotus into the sunscreen. I don't know that the topical application of polypodium leucomotus, particularly in sunscreen with the film forming agent thing, I don't know how effective that is. I mean, the data is largely in oral supplementation. I need to go back and review if there's anything out there on topicals. But I mean, it's always to me striking as far as the data on, on oral supplementation with polypodium leucomotus. In fact, there are even studies showing that it's helpful for people who suffer from polymorphous light eruption um, in reducing the burden of their disease, the oral dietary supplement. But anyways, they put um, polypodium leucomotus in this. It's also called fern block, um, but it's a mineral, a tinted mineral sunscreen. So, you know, it kind of, it offers the same advantages that these that I've mentioned here. It doesn't pill or balm. I've, I've really liked this one. It's very good if you have phototype one or two, I would suggest this one. Um, and it's a good choice. And then last but not least, I can't forget this, my favorite dermatology tinted um, moisturizer, SPF 46 Universal Tint. This works really well for Fitzpatrick Phototype 3 and 4. It is a great everyday moisturizer. You have the iron oxides in there and you have zinc, but you also have a chemical filter in this, octene oxate. So that gives you some protection against UVB as well, but zinc does that too. 
So I just love this. I think it looks great on my skin. It's very hydrating. It does have an odd odor to it. It smells to me like a pool float, but once you, if you can get over that, it's great. It doesn't pill, it doesn't ball. It gives the skin a very shiny shellac look though, which I like. People will comment on it when they watch my videos. It's particularly noticeable under artificial lights, but I don't know, I just really like it. And this is what I wear every day. Um, just, you know, as my everyday sunscreen, more or less. Um, I don't rely on this if I'm gonna be outside. Like when I go out for a run, for example, I would never go out for a run with a sunscreen that's not water resistant. I always wear a water resistant sunscreen. But just for being indoors all day, that one's great. It has, it's very moisturizing. It's not greasy though. Um, it's not super matte, but a lot of you who wear makeup find that it works well for you. Um, so that's, that's obviously one that I love, so. So those are all of the tinted sunscreens that I have to share with you guys today. I hope this video was helpful. Please share in the comments which tinted sunscreens you use or have used and how they work for your particular skin tone. That's really helpful to everyone, myself included. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.